tree. And I used my carabiner that I got from Holler. Okay. Yay. I tried to put it up on the register in some semblance of order, so I'd hope that she'd bag it in some semblance of order, so we'll see how we did. Okay, hi. <laughs> I got a lot of box art. Well, first of all, we'll start with these two, which Sarah Jane's gonna be so excited for me. I found two, I found two houses. If you don't watch anybody else's channel, these houses came in a variety of sizes. I think, I believe there's three sizes and different, each size had two colored backgrounds, I believe, I, I believe. And I only found these two, which they're fine. I love them. I just, I'm so excited. So they're like little house shaped boxes, just like little decor. And we um, were talking about, uh, never mind. <laughs> we're talking about doing them for uh, Halloween Haunted Village, to add to my Haunted Village, and I might, so. This was the only one of its kind, and I got it from my bestie. It says, have a hippie day. She probably, she would love this color and she loves the VW bus and I'm sure she'll love the saying. I'm sure she's not crazy about the glitter, but it, she might put, she might tolerate the glitter because of the rest of the box. But I just, it was screaming Lisa and I had to get it. But don't worry, I got stuff for the other bestie too. Okay. I picked up these two. Um, I have this one already, but then and I got this one as well. So this one is, <laughs> there you go. It's like a, like an atrium little thing with a succulent in it. And this one is the succulent wreath. And it says, um, welcome home. This one I already have. And I got it for DIY, but they only had one at the store that day. And I technically needed to. I'm not gonna, probably not gonna show it to you. I'm just gonna make a smaller version of my lantern. I might show it to you. Um, but I want to make a smaller version. I want to have a set of a large one and a small one. And I'm going to use uh, craft popsicle sticks, like the fat ones, instead of the rulers, just for scale. Um, so I already have the stuff, the little boxes on top. I just didn't have another one of these perfect size. So this is going to be another lantern. Um, but I said, I really like this one. Like, I really like the one that I got. And I was like, do I use it, save it, put it up. So now I can, I got another one, I can put it up. <clears throat> With all this stuff, I have no idea where anything's going when I'm done. I mean, I know where it's going when I'm done, but like after I open it, I don't know where I'm putting it. I was so excited to find these. I found the other two in the set a while back, um, but these are the other two from the new set. And you know guys, I have the whole other old set. Um, but these are little box arts with burlap and galvanized metal. This one says Farm Sweet Farm. Love it. And this one says Home and it has like a definition. A place. <laughs> a place or feeling of belonging. A gathering place for friends and family. And I just love that. And these have sawtooth hangers on the back if you're interested. I stand mine so sawtooth hangers up for grabs. So, the rest of these, I think, I think I have one that wasn't. Nope, the rest of these. So the rest of these are from the wedding set. So if you, somebody just recently asked me that they have the wedding stuff in your store. They did today. Um, today they had the wedding stuff in my store. They had the candles, which <laughs> I didn't buy. I did not like the fragrance. And you guys know me and my mason jar candles. I love to get them. I melt them down. I love the smell but then I use the candle jars for repurposing and stuff. I repurposed the candle jars for storage and stuff. I did not like the smell of them, unfortunately. And I don't know if they were supposed to be scented. They might have been like for you to put on a table and you're not really supposed to put scented candles on a table. So anyway, regardless, I just took pictures. But they had these and it says, I have always known it was you. I love that. So some of these I bought to show you to redo for DIYs, but some of them, I, two of them I bought just for me to have. Actually three maybe. I've always known and it was you. So um, ivory and gold were my wedding colors, burgundy, 
and black were gems so together it was like ivory and gold and burgundy and black so this to me is just like where where was that 20 years ago um this one is really cute it says bride rules it says remember to be patient listen to each other forgive have fun and laugh be friends communicate often always say i love you be friends <laughs> be friends is on there twice um kiss each other good night live happily ever after now you can use this if you've been married 30 years there's no reason that you can't i mean you're always a bride once a bride always a bride right and the groom rules because it's really like a husband and wife rules not necessarily a bride and groom rules but it says groom rules remember to be patient forgive listen to each other have fun and laugh be friends communicate often always say i love you be friends again kiss each other good night and live happily ever after so you notice the theme it has the exact same um yeah yep they're just arranged differently and the colors coordinate they're all like ivory and black and gold which is beautiful they all coordinate the whole set so then i got this one to just have because I love it. And this one says, Mr. and Mrs. Always kiss goodnight. Two shall become one. Hug often. Always listen. You are my best friend. Keep your promise. Laugh. Love each other always and forever. And I love that. And these are the bigger. I'm not going to cry. Okay. So that's all the box art. I got at the register. I picked up some things. I thought this was really cute. It says lunchbox note. There you go. And on the back, it shows you the different types of notes. They're like, have a fun day. These ones are blank. You are the sweetest. So they're really cute. So my store didn't have any autumn stuff except flowers. But they had back to school stuff. Now I was wondering about this because back to school starts at different times and different places, right? Think about it. Um, kids go back to school here much earlier than they go back to school in New York and they end much earlier than they end in New York. So I wonder if that actually has something to do with it. Could be. But they just had a couple of cute things in the back to school section that I had to grab because I was just in love. So you know I love coffee <laughs> and I love donuts. Well, I just thought this was so cute. I was surprised there wasn't an actual spiral notebook. I mean, um, an actual three ring binder. There was a three ring binder with food on it. It wasn't the coffee food people. It was like fruit and stuff, um, but nothing like this. And I'm gonna keep my eyes open, um, but they did have solid color green ones, like this color, pretty color green that's in the back. But this is coffee cups, uh, mugs like hot to go cups like frappuccinos and iced coffee and donuts and all the cuteness the little notebook has the sort of, um but it see how cute it is it's like the little frappuccino it's very bright why is it so bright is it in front of me will it adjust you can see it back here it's a little ice drink it's just got ice cubes not really a frappuccino because it's got ice cubes in it like ice latte and then there is a two pack of pencil cases one's a solid hot pink that matches the donut frosting and one of them is that cute pattern and then the notebook the composition notebook which i actually prefer composition notebooks over a spiral i always have um and so it's got a little boba tea guy on it you see that he's really cute he's very bright too there you go now you can see him. so i thought they were really cute and again i don't need them I found this at the register. I do need it. Um, I like purses that have big open spaces and that's not really good to keep them organized. Um, so I have these little pouches in my purse and stuff, but I love this. It has a little camera, like your keys, lipstick, jewelry, headphones. I'm not really sure what this little is with the wavy cap, but then sunglasses and a pen. I just thought that was really, really cute. I'm not really sure what that is supposed to be with the cat. Maybe it's our actual cell phone cover. But I just thought it was really cute and it's made out of the same like plastic that a recyclable shopping bag kind of is. That's what it reminds me of. 
Okay. They had, well, let me show you the few florals that I got, autumn ones that I didn't see the other day. And again, it's not that they weren't there, it's just that I didn't see them. Ah, man, man overboard. Um, they had beautiful autumn hydrangea and they have burlap in them. So like, like if you can tell some of the petals are burlap. Um, you can't tell. This is the worst. I'm so sorry. I feel like what is happening? Okay, now can you tell? Yeah. Okay. So some of them are burlap. They have this beautiful, rich red color. I was very excited about it. And now I will tell you that the hydrangea only comes with four now. So keep that in mind. Um, but I just thought that they were so beautiful and beautiful together. So let's see if we can't make them like... Let's let, the, let's let the ivory accent the bread. Here comes the bride. But they had spring things. It's July 4th. And they had spring things, finally. I know all the spring things everybody's been hauling this whole time. My, my, my store finally got some. Actually, it might have had it the whole time. It just might have been somewhere else. I don't know, but it just, I didn't see them before. So I picked up this really cute little um, four piece thing and it says, keep life simpler, simple. And it's just repeats. So I didn't think it was a very cute, like DIY, I mean decor as it is because it just repeats. But yeah, we're gonna take that apart probably. I did get these for my bathroom. They're guest towels. Each one has 14. This one says enjoy simple pleasures. And it's got these beautiful blue flowers on it. And this one is the same green stripes and it says keep life simple. I just love that. And then I bought these plaques. Um, I bought two of each. I love the shape. The shape of this is amazing. I would probably turn it this way. But this one says celebrate everything. And that's so fun because, you know, you could actually use this if you have a very, very small apartment. You could, like, use this for every holiday. Literally, like, make a bow for all the different holidays, like a Christmas bow, you know, and just use it. Just, like, celebrate everything. And this one also says celebrate everything, and it's this beautiful oval. Is that oval amazing? Gosh. So crisp and clean. But I didn't see these rugs. So these are the bath rugs. They're just like a cotton, no grip on the back. This one says, uh, refresh, relax, refresh, relax, and it repeats. And it is 96% cotton, 2% other fiber. I wonder what the other fiber is. <laughs> um, this one actually says, rub-a-dub. And this one says, Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. Now they are not very big, but for a dollar, right? But here's what I like about them. There's a couple of things. First of all, they're almost 100% cotton, so the wash. Um, second thing is they are bound, which I thought was exceptional for a dollar, really. Um, but what I really like about this size rug is if you've ever gone to a hotel, they give you a little rug like this over your shower door or in the towels that you're supposed to just put down when you use it, like when you actually step out of the shower, and then you can hang it up to dry. So you don't always have to have a wet floor mat on there. Now, if you've been around here for a while, you know I have one, a black one and a red one that match all of my holiday decor ones in my bathroom. So these are for gifts, but um, it's a great idea for a dollar just to get one of these. I hang it over the side of my tub behind the shower curtain and we throw it down onto the already existing bath mat that's in there um, and this way we can pull it up and hang it over and it can dry and I don't have to live with when you leave your white bath mat on the floor it can create mold it takes a long time to dry they stay wet like they stay wet you go in there later with your socks and you're stepping on a wet rug so I really like this idea for that okay I picked up one of the soccer balls. I mentioned it in the DIY yesterday. We did uh, four non-traditional topiaries. Um, but what I was saying was Sarah Jane from Chic on the Cheap uses these balls for like her topiaries and for her uh, 
kissing bowls, like the flower bowls, you know, they're called kissing bowls. And it's a great size. It is a great size. It's much bigger than what you get in styrofoam. Even the two halves make a bowl, don't make a bowl that's this big. So I picked this one up. Thank you, Sarah Jane, for the great tip. She's the bomb. They also had the trinket trays for the wedding stuff. They also had the glasses, uh, like the like little shot glass things. They're total shot glass things, actually. This says Together Forever, and I got this for me and Jim. I actually thought he could use it on his dresser. Um, sweet story, just a quick one. I don't have time in this. I'll probably edit this out, but Jim and I met 20 years ago yesterday um, online. So it's just a, a special moment. This is a special time for us. And I just thought how cute that was. But we're not going to be together forever. When we got together, when we got married, I told him I'd only stay married to him for 75 years. Because, I mean, we were 30. I was 30. He was 29. So, you know, could have been for it. Could be forever. I don't know. <laughs> I picked up this box of tie flap lawn and leaf bags. There's five in here. I meant to get the one that had seven because I want cheap plastic bags in black. But I have a DIY coming up and I needed black. Um, and I thought that this would be better than tablecloths because I don't need it to be such good quality, if that makes any sense. Not that the tablecloths are great quality. But I said garbage bags, definitely. And we can use the rest, it's another thing. Somebody shared these with me, um, thinking that these were like the Drake's cakes that I liked. And I said, I'll try them. They, you get five for a dollar of each one. And they just look like chocolate and vanilla Twinkies. Like they look like Twinkies. So I don't know how they are. They're made by Cravings with a Z. Never heard of them before. They're called Spongies with a Z. Never heard of them before. They are a product of turkey. Turkey, turkey. Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, they're good till April of 2020, so. I needed pop-up foil, so I picked up two boxes. I love this stuff, it's so convenient. It seems like a waste of money to get 25 sheets, let's see, 14 inches by 10 inches. So like square footage wise, it's much cheaper to get a roll of foil, but I feel like there's no waste with this. This goes covers the center of my cookie sheets when we're, you know, doing chicken nuggets or, well, I don't really cook chicken nuggets, but like French fries, I make Aunt Helen's Parmesan chicken, all that stuff, asparagus, I use the pop-up foil. Um, I don't like when you pull out a piece you have to if it's extra that's fine you can wrap it over the thing but it just feels so wasteful so my favorite plus sandwiches we want to talk about how great it is to wrap a sandwich whenever I'm on a road trip I wrap a sandwich I picked up the bar mop cloths these are bar mop dish towels they are 100% cotton you get two for a dollar and I like this size the reason I picked these up is twofold really um, I really like the way they feel. I like to be able to bleach the dish towels um, or use black ones, honestly. Um, but I saw that they came out with, now they're just coming out with a one pack. So I was like, if I was ever gonna buy them, now's the time. Um, so I picked up those. These are 12, 12 inch squares. Jimmy needed a micro USB poke. A micro USB charging cable. This is 39 inches long. <laughs> and he needs it for work. He's got this little, we've got this, oh, you guys know, the little fan that we um, got to try out, uh, the mini one, that clip on one. He's taking it to work and he just needs the cord to be a little longer so he can keep it plugged in. Um, and this one is. 39 inches and that's gonna be plenty long and it's a micro USB USB Okay, they had some new Bolero products. I didn't take a picture I don't know if you've seen people haul them already, but it's Hydra mist coconut water face wash is what I picked up They had bath bombs and stuff, but I picked up this. I really like the smell. I really like the smell a lot Yeah It's got a foil seal, but you can still smell it through there um, and then I picked up Jimmy the um, the face wipes. You get 30 of the moisturizing facial wipes in here. Um, he uses them for washing his face between his medicine. Um, there's some times where he's just too tired to actually like, to 
So he'll just take this. He leaves them by the bedside table next to the medicine. If he forgets to wash, he'll just wash out before he puts his medicine on. You probably watched everybody hold these and said, Jerry needs those. You'll be happy to know I only got two of each. Oh no, that's right. I got two of each and then one of the white ones fell. Like it was not even like a full rack that it fell. And I was like, oh, Jesus wants me to get three white ones. <laughs> so I picked up three of the white buffalo check and two of the red buffalo check. I'm a happy girl. I'm a happy girl. Um, if you've not seen anybody haul these, These are not fleece, they're fashion scarf weight. So you see they're like a nylon. Let's see what they're actually made of. 11 by 60 inches, 100% polyester. And I just love them. Are they not screaming farmhouse? Are they not screaming Jerry? Jerry! <coughs> you can hear them. You can hear them from here. Speaking of more of the black and white gingham, I would like to thank Melissa from Four Quarter Crafts <laughs> for even suggesting that such a thing might exist. It might exist, but she turned me on to they make head wraps in this beautiful black and white gingham. Absolutely love. This is not a hundred percent gingham. It does have a plaid sort of detail there. Do you see that? Um, so gingham is this size. Buffalo check is bigger gingham plaid is thin lines I don't know how you know but um, she uses these she buys these for DIYs and I was like yes please so this I never saw before I didn't see anybody haul it it could be out there for the whole world to see and I just didn't know it it's called craft stem it's by Greenbrier and they had all different colors but I picked up black and it excuse me it's uh, not feathery, but it's like faux fur, and it's on a wire. So if you see black, furry, wiry appendages, are these not spider legs? Because I think that's what they're going to be. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, but um, you get, oh, it does not tell you. Okay, so it's about, I don't know, two to three feet long, two and a half to feet long maybe. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna say three feet long. I figure it's a yard. So this is wire edged fur trim. I thought that was just so neat, oh my gosh. I was like, yes please. They had other bright colors and I couldn't figure out what the other bright colors could be used for, but you guys, you guys will come up with something. And I think, oh no, no more bag. I found the buff the Buffalo Check dog scarf. This is a pet bandana, and I'll take it off for you, and I'll show you what it looks like. I bought, I found this before I found the scarves, and it was kind of not with the pet stuff. It was randomly sitting by the candles, and I was sort of, when I see stuff like that, I sometimes feel like somebody's trying to tell you something. I do. I know. Like, I went to Wendy's and I didn't want a Frosty because I was trying to be a good girl. And I got to the window and the lady's like, would you like a chocolate Frosty? I made an extra one. So, <laughs> I just thought this was so cute. It's just like a half of a McDonough. Um, it's a good size too. Um, but it's already finished for you. So, you want to use it in DIYs, you can. It's already got this really nice uh, sewn edge on it. But I just thought it was super cute. I took a whole picture of how many they had because it was a lot. Um, these are by Cake Mates, which is a, like a name brand. They're not, a Cake Mates is not by a uh, Greenbrier. It's, they sell it at the grocery store and stuff, but they're called black and white cupcake liners. And they have this really cute black and white print. You had me at black and white. Um, I keep my cupcake liners in a wide mouth pint size mason jar. It helps keep their shape better than keeping them in their original container or those plastic cups that you get um, and then I you can keep a variety of colors they look pretty on the counter and then you can see what you have 
because you can it's basically like how you can see the top of that second layer you can see it in the jar so you know which ones you have and it's good I got this and I'm thinking about a very unconventional thing for it well maybe it's not very unconventional but there is an over the cabinet towel bar I love the one from the Dollar Tree is adjustable I don't think it'll fit over any other door but a cabinet door but I just thought that was so neat because I have drawers. I have drawers that are big and I think that that was my thought was I'd like to put this on the drawer that's down there and put a towel in front of the coffee bar. If you notice, um, the coffee bar, the cabinets in front of the coffee bar have to clean often because when Jim spills, he pours his drinks there and all the spillage and stuff. Um, but I was like, oh, if I had a towel bar there and hung a towel, I might not have to clean as much. So I got it for a dollar. Like I said, is that unconventional? And I think this is my last bag. So I went to go put stuff away. I found all the craft stuff. People. Oh, there we go. Um, forgive me. So the one thing is if you watch DIYs lately, you notice I use these black buckets in all of my different DIYs. But I really wanted to pick up the white ones. They're plastic, but boy, if they don't look like they're enamel. Um, and you get three instead of two in this one. And I really do like the size and everything, so they're really... I can't believe that bag was down there. Um... I found these beads. They are sort of um, like faceted beads. They're not sort of, they're faceted beads and they come in purple, pink, green, red, and blue, almost rainbow. Um, and you get 250. So I'm assuming that there's 50 of each color. I also picked up a colorful bag of pom-poms. We just did a pom-pom DIY last night, but we did it with Christmas pom colored pom-poms and here they are with all the fun colors. Somebody had suggested in the comments that you could use gumballs for a child's birthday, and that'd be kind of cute. Just be careful of the bugs. I picked up two of the black grow grain ribbon. That is how you say that word right there. That is grow grain. That word right there is grow grain. That's how you say that. Basically, it's the ribbon with the ridges in it. I got two black ones. This is a loose wire. I picked up two more of the wire edge burlap. This is the uh, nine feet. I think it's two inches wide. And I picked up two of those. I picked up a regular Mod Podge. This is the gloss. I think it's a gloss finish. So this would be also be good if you're doing the enamel. If you want to get a gloss Mod Podge to protect. I think somebody was asking me in the comments for all the enamel wear. Um, these I didn't see before, and I have a few different ideas of what I want to do with them. I mix paint, um, whitewash paint basically already. Um, sometimes I have the bottle that I can just add water to, but sometimes I actually have to mix some on the side. And I thought these were perfect. So they're two small paint bottles with caps, with twisty covers. Um, I just thought that was perfect. I don't know why. I just think, I don't know. My brain was just like, yeah. And then the last thing that I got was these wooden pieces that I found that people have been hauling forever and ever and I never had them in any of my stores. So I went ahead and picked them up and I got all the nautical ones. So this one is, you get six pieces, you get two of each. That's a little mermaid with a ponytail, a beautiful sea turtle, as well as a dolphin. This one is the ship's wheel, the sailboat, and the anchor. These remind me of my dad so much. And so does this for a matter of fact. And here is a, does anybody know what kind of whale this is? Okay, it's supposed to be a sperm whale. That's what that whale is, like Moby Dick is a sperm whale with the big head. Um, a shell, does anybody know what kind of shell this is? This is a scallop um, and a seahorse. You know what kind of, no, I'm just kidding. An AC horse. Do you guys know that the seahorse, the male carries a baby? Yeah, okay. 
Um, so I got all of those and I thought that they were super cute. I'm just going to put them on my wood collection in case I come up with something. I don't have anything planned yet in mind, but you never know. You just never know. Okay. Okay. So it's just, okay. Here's what it looks like. <laughs> it says, let go and let God. I loved it. I'm throwing this plastic part out. Um, I love the flowers. Um, these are actually not one sticker. These are two stickers. If you saw in the sample real quick, they're like meant to hug this. So I thought that they were so pretty for me. <laughs> um, and of course, just saying, is there anything else you need to know in life? Just let it go. Um, and this one says, stay humble, work hard. Oh, I lost my B. I did. It said be kind. Dang it. I'll find it. I'll find you, you little stinker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can you see it now? So I'm missing the word B. Um, and I don't see it here. Something that I found that I feel like I've never seen before. I shopped in a place where I don't normally shop, in the wrapping paper. Uh, I wanted to see if they had anything inspirational, and they did, actually, quite a bit. So they have this blue and white uh, plaid, um, but in the wrapping paper, I found this. It's actually from the teacher tree, which is the Dollar Tree's teacher section, and it says banner paper, and it is actually like stone, like castle walls, like Hogwarts. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, and then I text Sharon. It's 28 inches by five feet. So it's 28 inches long. And um, she is a teacher um, and she's got uh, like the bulletin boards that you have, like teachers that used to have when we were growing up. And now I got this wrapping paper. It's gift wrap and it says all the things. It says wedding bliss, honor to have and to hold, honor, love, happily ever after. All these beautiful on black white letters on black background and I just thought that would be such a pretty um, background to a print or something so basically buy a, a 11 by 14 frame say create um, the the mat out of this like cover this on the back use this to cover the back and then put the wedding picture in the front I have some mats made for pictures here that are made out of fabric um, but I know that these aren't my original pictures. These are pictures that I printed. So I'm not worried about them being acid free and protecting the picture forever. Um, they're just copies of pictures. So um, keep that in mind when doing the projects. But yeah, I was like, went into the wrapping paper section. Don't do that much. Found some inspiration. Wasn't sure I would. And I'm just looking for that word B. <sighs> nope, not here. Um, but Melissa from Four Quarter Crafts teased us with, um, she has about, I don't know, 25 of these jobs. <laughs> I don't really know how many, but I was looking for them. I saw somebody do a DOI quite a bit ago where they um, just made it look like a farmhouse shovel. So I was thinking about doing that, um, making it uh, rusty, basically. I'm going to, well, you'll see. I think I think if it works, I'll share it with you. Um, and it's plus these are wooden handles so so I'm not exactly sure what's up in the handle um, I don't think it's screwed I have a feeling it just ends um, because it's got a screw in the back and it's about 16 inches maybe from from here to here maybe that'd be my estimation so I just thought they were really cute plus they're really cute if you have a little kid and he likes to work in the garden wants to be like daddy or something or grandpa that's definitely cute they are plastic I didn't know either that was another thing I didn't know the original one that I saw was yellow and I was like oh, I miss that and then I was like oh they're plastic so that's it everybody I hope you really enjoyed this haul and all the babbling that went along with it if you have any questions at all please leave them in the comments down below don't forget to share this video with friends and family anybody you know might will be interested in seeing all the new stuff that I got <coughs> <coughs> and if you haven't yet click subscribe and when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell, YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. 
And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Look, I could be answering my mom. I have a little head, so. It's kind of ironic that I have a little head. Because I already have such a big body. And it's like, you don't need any help in that area. But. Oh, look. I'm going to go out in the. I'm going to go out and clean the kitchen. <laughs> Thanks for watching me be crazy.